So I've been downgrading the e-bike, I suppose most people would see it as downgrading anyway. I fitted it in an 11-speed um, drivetrain. So I've gone with the Shimano Link Glide uh, drivetrain. So you get the 11-speed cassette. It's um, 11 to 50 tooth. Um, Duralia. XT Duralia. Um, chain, very specific chain. And uh, shifter. So... You have to replace all of those four things on your e-bike. Um, the chain ring, um, I've left the original one on, which seems to be okay, but I've only tested this in a stand so far. I've not actually um, ridden this yet. Um, but I suppose it's the, the why. Why would you bother downgrading your, your e-bike to an 11 speed from 12 speed? And what's actually involved? So, um, first of all, <coughs> Top speed hyperglide drive trains, the chains, they wear out after 250 miles. Cassettes are generally free type free chains if you catch them early enough. So 750 miles for the chain rings. Um the derailleurs are derailleur and a shifter's a shifter. Um derailleur jockey wheels probably wear out quicker as well. But I did fit the um the aluminium Uber bike ones to my previous derailleur, so yeah, anyway. These last three times longer, or up to three times longer. So, you know, chain 750 miles, your cassette start pushing on for 3,000 miles. You just imagine the amount of money you're saving um, over probably the life of your bike. So, it made sense that while the uh, some of the drivetrain components were good, as I had a good chain on there, um, a good cassette probably halfway through its life uh, or a third through its life. Um, good derailleur and shifter. So I'll go put those parts on another bike and I um, fit this drivetrain to this one. Um, price wise, it was actually really reasonable. Um, I bought from bikediscount.de and um, if, if memory serves right, uh, prices in euros, it was 75, 75, 20, and the shifter was, I don't know, 40 euros, something like that. So quite a lot cheaper than a uh, an, an equivalent XT Hyperglide 12 speed cell. Now, what I did have to do as well was change the uh, free hub spline on my um, Hope Pro 4 hub. Now, luckily, because I had already sw switched to Hope, it's not too problematic. You just take one off, put another one on. Um, so I've had to go from the micro spline to the, um, the old school HG uh, driver. But... Um, yeah, I mean, other than the, the finish maybe looks a bit cheaper and everything is quite a bit heavier. <laughs> Look, it's an e-bike. I don't think you want to pedal this on a, a normal bike. And um, it really does feel very robust. Um, uh, the chain feels a lot more um, robust. So, yeah, hoping that um, I'm not going to miss the 51 tooth over the 50. This is the extra tooth at the top end. It's an e-bike. Um, I probably need to really question my life choices if uh, I'm climbing something and that one extra tooth would have helped. At the bottom end, so at the top end, that's 2% difference, whatever. But the bottom end, you go from um, 10 to 11 tooth, that's like a 10% difference. Um, now, I don't really like pedaling my e-bike um, that much over the limiter anyway, uh, generally. Uh, and whether it's on a 10 tooth or an 11 tooth, I don't tend to crank that hard on a 10 tooth unless we're going downhill anyway, at which point it's just that gravity uh, carry me. So I don't think we're going to miss that much at the bottom end, but we'll see, we'll see. So, um, yeah, I'll come back and, and report. Thank you.